my name is Tiffany and welcome back to Upcycled by Tito where I take old forgotten items and give them a new life. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Um, I've been feeling slightly stir crazy at times, um, but I've also been keeping myself pretty busy this month. I've been making these face masks for our essential workers. I've been doing this through Sewing for Lives and I'm gonna include their information down below if you guys could check them out and help in whatever way that you can. Okay, so moving on to today's tutorial. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've been spending a lot of the last seven weeks online shopping. Um, but when I say online shopping, I mean like putting a shit ton of stuff into my cart and then remembering that I'm unemployed and have no money and then getting really sad and then just removing everything. Um, so one of the sites that I've been going to a lot is Reformation. I love their clothes and also they are a sustainable brand, so double win. But I was like looking through the, the website and I was like, you know what, like maybe for this upcycle video, I can make one of these dresses. So I'm just going through their website and like looking at all these dresses and then I come across this dress. Um, this is the Christine dress and um, I decided to recreate this one because it's just like super cute and like perfect for spring. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you how I turned this skirt into this dress. So this is a skirt that I found for $5 at a Goodwill and the Christine dress is retailed for $218. So I basically made $213. Okay, so let's get right to it. You're gonna need a sewing machine, an overlocker, iron and ironing board, a thrifted skirt, some cotton fabric, fabric shears, some sewing pins, a seam ripper, an invisible zipper, a fabric marker, some thread, and a measuring tape which I forgot to include while filming this. So here I have the skirt on. Um, it's actually just six panels of fabric sewn together to form the skirt. As you can see, it fits me pretty well. The style is just super dated and I wanted to show you guys the zipper on the side. Before we start the tutorial, um, I thought that maybe we could just look at the details of this Reformation Christine dress. The skirt looks pretty simple. It looks like it's just a mini skirt with like a ruffle hem on the bottom. For the top, the top's pretty interesting to me because it's kind of made like a corset. So it's there's like three panels in the front that are flat and then there's two pieces that form like the bra cup. And then there's also this ruffle hem along the top and then the straps look like just one inch straps that you like tie in a bow so that seems pretty simple. For the back, there's a section in the middle of the back that's shirred. I don't think I'm gonna do that only because I don't think I'm gonna have enough fabric and the zipper closure is also in the center of the back. Okay, so now that we have all these details, let's get to it. To make the skirt part of the dress, I'm gonna be keeping the top of the original skirt and just cutting it to a length of 12 and a half inches. For the ruffle hem, I am going to cut from the widest part of the skirt and I'm gonna cut it to a length of four inches. Um, so the zipper on the original skirt is on the left, so I think I'm gonna keep it that way instead of inserting the zipper in the back of the dress. For the top, this is the general idea of the pieces that we're going to need. We're gonna dive into this later, um, but this is the general idea. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to put the zipper on the left side of the dress, and then with whatever fabric I have left, I'm gonna use it to make the ruffle that goes along the top, as well as the straps for the dress. As you can see here, I have removed the waistband from the skirt. Now I'm just taking my tape measure and measuring 12 and a half inches down and marking it all the way across. I'm pinning the front and back pieces of the skirt so that the fabric stays together when I make the cut. Cut along the line that you just made. This is the original hem of the skirt um, and this is what I'm going to use to create the ruffle. But I don't know if you can see, there is a seam that goes right here and then there's another seam here. And I think I'm actually going to save this panel 
um, to create the straps. So I'm gonna go ahead and seam rip this seam right here and right here. As you can see here, I have gone ahead and ripped that seam open and this is the panel that we're gonna be using for our straps. So for the hem, I'm gonna be measuring four inches from the bottom and then I'm just gonna mark it all the way across. Then cut along the line that you've just made. So here is the piece that we just cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and attach these ends together and then we can start making the ruffle. So I just finished attaching the edges together and now we can start ruffling. To create the ruffle, you're gonna wanna adjust your stitch length on your machine to the longest stitch that your machine allows. And then we're just gonna go ahead and sew all the way across the top of this, remembering not to back stitch when you reach the end. With these threads, um, because we didn't back stitch so they're loose, I'm gonna take the top thread and I'm just gonna pull it to create this ruffle. So, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm just gonna continue to pull this thread and that's gonna make the fabric ruffle. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and keep pulling until the length of the ruffle um, matches the length of the skirt. So once you've reached the length that you need, um, you're just gonna wanna play around with the ruffles and really even them out so that they're nice and spread out. And then we're gonna pin this to the bottom of the skirt and sew. I wanted to show you guys what the skirt looks like now. It's the back. Um, and also I replaced the original zipper with a longer one since we're gonna attach the top to it as well. Okay, so for the bodice, Technically, I know what pieces I need. Like I know the general shape of the pieces I'm gonna need to form the bodice, but it is gonna be really difficult because I don't have a pattern um, and I'm kind of just winging it. Um, but there are some measurements that I do know so I can use those as a guide. Okay, so for the top of the skirt, I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of three pieces sewn together for the front of the skirt you can see can you see that there's a seam there and this seam there and the length of this middle piece is six inches and then it's four inches on both sides so i'm going to use that as a guide for the bottom part of the top because i want the seams to all line up so i'm going to know that the center piece needs to be six inches and then the bottom of the two side pieces needs to be four i also took my tape measure and just like took a few measurements of my chest area. I don't know, I'm not a professional seamstress, so all of this is just trial and error. Um, but with those measurements, I kind of just drew up what I think will work. So that's like the, the front and the side pieces. And then this is my um, drawing of what I think the bra cup piece needs to look like. Okay, so I've gone ahead and drawn and cut out what I think are going to work as pattern pieces. Um, so this is going to be, I'm just gonna show you just the left side um, because this is gonna be cut on a fold. Um, so this is what it's gonna look like right there. And so the bottom of this is three inches because there's going to be two sides of this. And then the bottom of this is four inches because like I mentioned earlier, I want the seam, that middle seam, to line up with the seam of the skirt. Um, and then for the bra cup piece, I kind of cut this up. So this is gonna be sewn together like that and that's gonna form, hopefully, um, the, the bra piece of the top. I wanted to show you guys quickly what I meant by cutting on fold. So here I have just a scrap piece of cotton that I'm using to make my pattern. I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna take my pattern piece and place it along that folded line. Then I'm gonna trace my pattern out onto the fabric and pin the fabric together and then cut. 
Now you'll have a symmetrical pattern piece. To figure out the pattern for the top, I did a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of this, and a whole lot of this. So here I'm just pinning it to my body because I don't have a mannequin with me and I'm just making any adjustments that I feel like I need it. So that entire process literally took forever. Like, I mean, I was definitely about to give up many, many times, um, but it was just like a ton of trial and error, mostly error, but I think I finally um, have the fit that I want. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. So this is the front, and then this is the back. Um, as you can see here, I actually made the back piece out of three pieces because the back of the skirt also had those seams and like If I didn't match those up then my OCD was gonna drive me nuts now that I'm happy with the way it fits I'm actually going to seam rip this entire thing because I'm gonna use this as a pattern to cut out the pieces from the rest of the skirt Here are my pattern pieces laid out. That's the front and that's the back and then these are the boob pieces. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them out and then start putting them together. So I just finished sewing the top and I've also gone ahead and sewn the top to the skirt and this is what it looks like now. How cute is this dress? Um, I wanna show you guys how the seams line up in the front. Happy about that. They also line up in the back. So I'm super happy about that. Um, and I also went ahead and I put the zipper all the way to the top. And I also added the ruffle on the top part of the dress. And the way I did this ruffle was the exact same way as I did the hem, except for tinier. Um, so now all we have left to do is add the straps. To make the straps, I cut out a strip of fabric that's about two inches wide. Then, I folded the fabric in half and pinned. Then, I'm gonna sew along the top and just one side of that strip. When you turn it inside out, it should look something like this. Attach it to your dress and you're done. enjoyed that tutorial if you guys have any questions or suggestions on what I should make please write them in the comments below um, I hope everyone is staying safe and sane and as always thank you so much for watching um, oh also if you guys want to see how I made the face masks just keep watching cut out your fabric pieces place your fabric right sides together and sew along the curve repeat this with the lining fabric but you're also going to hem both sides Pin your layers right sides together and sew across the top and bottom. Flip the mask inside out and then sew along the top and bottom. This is what it should look like now. To make the casing for the elastic, fold the edge over twice and sew. Once you've sewn both sides, use a safety pin to insert the elastic. Here is your completed mask with the option to insert a filter in between the layers.